gumbo, jazz, and second lining. All of these things that we cherish is uniquely New Orleans. They come from the heart and soul of generations of people who live here in neighborhoods like where we are today, Central City. Central City is not only centrally located right in the heart of the city of New Orleans, but it is a neighborhood that is a microcosm of the city demographically and social economically. Central City has been sort of the, the working area, you know, the back of town. Culture, community, and commerce. That those are the three things, that's our three-legged stool. Probably one of the most important aspects of the history of Central City is its role in the civil rights movement. Many people don't know that SCLC got started in, in New Orleans, a stone's throw from Dryad Street. Most people think it happened in Georgia or Alabama or somewhere. It didn't. Dr. King was here. O.C. Haley Boulevard, the main street of the neighborhood, is named after civil rights leader Aretha Castle Haley. Aretha Castle Haley was a major participant and organizer in the boycott of Dryad Street and also in the founding of the New Orleans Chapter of Poor, the Congress of Racial Equality. Being together through good times and bad, it's that, that's the covenant that we make inside of community. Central City has been a community that has suffered through lack of investment over the years. At one time, there was really a thriving commercial district. And then, as happened all over the country, there was a lot of suburbanization, people leaving the city, sort of a draining of investment. What's exciting in the post-Katrina environment is the way that we have been able to funnel resources to the community in a very targeted and intentional way. So focusing on like Aretha Castle Haley Boulevard that was a mecca for Central City and really for African Americans in the city of New Orleans as a whole. When we came to this street, this street did not look like it looks today. Working together, we have been able to make this bustling corridor that's evolving happen. Along the boulevard, you'll find thriving new restaurants, cool coffee houses, plus museums and community centers. There's Cafe Reconcile, a nonprofit that combines delicious food with the mission of serving the area youth. And then there's the Southern Food and Beverage Museum with its in-house restaurant, Perlou. The Zeitgeist Theater, which hosts movie screenings and other visual arts. And then there's a New Orleans jazz market that has amazing concert space, but also offers educational opportunities for all ages. As we transition from O.C. Haley, which has reached a tipping point, it is time for us to shift the resources and intentionality to improving other parts of Central City, and I believe we're doing that well. Being a community is not just about working together. It's also about celebrating together. It's about playing together. There's a lot of second lines, a lot of events. So that's a really important um, cultural piece that's been around for a really long time in Central City. Dance, music, food. These are connecting cultural experiences. Bringing people together is what a neighborhood does. In Central City, we can see it firsthand. Life in New Orleans is so much more than what you see in the French Quarter. You can find a slice of that life just a few blocks off of St. Charles Avenue in this historic New Orleans neighborhood, Central City. With another episode of Go Nola TV, I'm Fresh Johnson. Later. <laughs>